Welcome back to the Monday Motivator. I'm Renee from Learn Easy. What I want to do today is I want to talk to you guys about some techniques that we can use not only in face-to-face -face meetings but also over Zoom meetings. The whole landscape is changing and many of us are now doing so many meetings over Zoom. So the techniques that we may normally use to build rapport with potential clients quickly such as mirroring um, is different over Zoom and we want to talk about that today and give you guys a few tips and tricks. So firstly what we'll do is we're just going to role play, I'm the BDM and Brianna is the client um, and we're just going to firstly role play what mirroring is. So let's start there. To be honest Renee, my phone's got disconnected last week and no one even told me and I don't think I'm getting the service I should be. Oh gosh Brianna that's terrible, I can't believe I disconnected your phones. Um, and I'm really disappointed to hear that you're not happy with the service that you're getting. I'm here today to talk you through that, see what we can do. Awesome, that'd be great, thank you. All right, so in this example, we're in a face-to-face -face meeting, Brianna had her arms crossed. Now, mirroring, um, when you're actually using body language um, and physical gestures, would uh, indicate, okay, I should have my arms crossed, but you would never, you would never mirror this type of uh, body language because that would just put a wall up between you and the client. When Brianna crossed her arms and she crossed her legs, you can see I went and crossed my legs, and I actually went and sat like that because I'm being uh, similar to her, but I'm not being defensive. So that's a really good way to counteract someone sitting across you like this. You wouldn't, if someone is sitting like this, you would never start talking with big open gestures because they would just immediately shut down. The trick about mirroring and why it's so effective is that the person that you're actually trying to build rapport with feels like you are similar to them. And people are more responsive when they feel like you are similar to them. So that's sort of the um, key goal that you have when you're doing mirroring. So this was just one example. The next example I want to talk about with mirroring, which is what you would use when you're doing Zoom meetings, um, it's basically mirroring the words that they're saying to you. It's highly effective if you can use their exact language back towards them, um, but alternatively to that, what you would do is you would just paraphrase. So you're basically taking exactly what they're saying and you're just paraphrasing it um, back to them, potentially using different words. When you do that, you actually have the exact same um, subliminal response as you would in a situation where you're sitting across from them and they feel like your body language is mirroring theirs. So let, let, let's do another one. Now we're on Zoom. We're pretending to be on Zoom. Oh, Renee, coronavirus has hit our business so hard. You know, I feel like I'm spending all this money on all these phone bills. I've had to make cuts here and there, and I just don't think I'm getting the value that I need. Not to mention, the speeds have just changed dramatically. Oh, Brianna, I'm really empathetic with you. I mean, you know, the economic slump and how this has impacted all, just about all of our business clients is absolutely heartbreaking. Mm. Um, and I completely feel your pain. I understand why you need to make cuts. Um, we're all, at the moment, trying to make sure that we're making the right business decisions to stay open. Um, so what I'm hearing from you is that you're wanting to see if there's anything we can do around the plans, but you also need faster internet speeds, is that right? Yeah, and just a bit more value okay. for what I'm spending. Yeah, well I'm here today because I want to talk to you about how we can add more value into the products and services you already have with us. So awesome. are you happy for us to have a chat about that? I'd love that Renee, that's, that's the kind of support I really need right now. Wonderful, well that's what I'm here to do. Awesome. So what you can see then is when Brianna was talking to me, even through Zoom, you can see if someone's really using a lot of hand signals in their communication. She was talking, she was, um, you know, she was really pouring her heart out and she was using her hands a little bit. If you notice that through Zoom, please do mimic and mirror that back to the client because that would make them also feel like you are similar to them. Again, paraphrasing back to them exactly what they're saying to you so that they one, feel heard, but secondly, trying to tie into the paraphrase how you can actually help them achieve that whilst potentially offering them new products and services. So look, it's a little tip and trick, but Zoom meetings are becoming the new norm. They're very, very good for a few reasons. Number one, they are highly time efficient. So if you can get your diary booked out, you should be able to fit in twice or three times as many meetings as you normally would a week, providing you can get those meetings booked in. That's the one thing that's really great. So it's going to make you guys be significantly more efficient with your time. The second thing is that you can have the same 
same amount of rapport building and you can go just in as much detail as you normally would in a meeting through a Zoom meeting. Get really well set up with the ability to be able to screen share so that you can share uh, their bills, you can um, have whiteboards on Zoom so that you can still draw out your diagrams and just get really efficient in that. Practice that with your peers so that you look like a professional when you're having a Zoom meeting. You don't want to look like you've never done it before so definitely have a few test runs before you start embarking on the Zoom meetings and ultimately if the customer wants to see you face to face go out there but give them the option and then that way you can start dabbling in both spaces of um, continuing with face to face and Zoom and trying to become an expert at that. So look happy selling I hope that helps you guys for the week ahead and we're here for you so please reach out if you need anything.